Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Knockreiner, and today I freak out about yet another SSL vulnerability. Seriously, though, freak is the name given to a new flaw in SSL, which of course is one of the encryption mechanisms we use for network communication, primarily for connecting to secure websites. Today, researchers released a new flaw in SSL. Basically, the flaw has to do with SSL implementations that still use the RSA export cipher suite. So a quick history lesson. Back in the day, the US used to outlaw the export of really strong cryptography. We wouldn't share strong encryption with certain governments that uh, we didn't agree with. That's long since gone, but apparently some SSL implementations still use this weaker RSA export cipher suite, specifically iOS products, Apple OS X products, and Google Android products still use this suite. So what's the big deal? Well, basically, if a bad guy can pull off a man-in-the-middle attack, get in between you and your secure web traffic, he can force you to use this weak encryption suite, which allows him to crack it and thus see your decrypted traffic. Now, cracking it will take a little bit of time and money, but this is a weak enough cipher that is pretty easily done nowadays. So the real-world impact of this is quite mixed. Now, I think if you're on a static network, it's pretty hard for a cyber criminal to get in between you and normal traffic. They have to either do DNS cache port poisoning or hijack your computer. On the flip side, on public wireless networks, this becomes a much bigger deal. It's pretty easy for other wireless people to kind of intercept your traffic and pull off this sort of man-in-the-middle attack. And then there's even nation-state connotations. Apparently, according to the Snowden leaks, it's relatively easy for our governments to actually intercept traffic as we're sending it over the internet. So this is probably a pretty easy attack for nation-states to pull off. In any case, it's being fixed. If if you're an Apple or Google user, they promise updates soon, and there are fixed versions of OpenSSL too. So just be aware of this freak vulnerability and make sure your products are up to date. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.